What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to speed up music or sound while keeping the same pitch tone. Now just before I get into this video, I'd like to say this is a requested tutorial as you'll see on the screen right now. This was asked by FPS Krabby. Can you do a tutorial on how to speed up music or sound? So not just the same speed, but from slow to fast and maybe pitch over time. I'm searching for this for ages and cannot find it. Now if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now the song I'm going to be using is a Coldplay song known as Fix You, it's actually a remix, I used it in my non-copyright songs on Sunday, if you haven't checked that out, a link to it will be in the description. So again strangers, you need to come here and click this button, and all we're going to be doing is adding the time stretch, so click it, add, OK. This is what you're working with right here. Now all you have to do basically is mess with it and you'll get a good sound. So this is going to make the song speed up or slow down while keeping the same pitch. Now you'll see there's a load of different presets right here and the one I recommend is fast, good for bass or music too. Again completely up to you. So if you go this way, if you go left it means it'll go fast, if you go right it'll go slow. So let's get into this. So we'll first make it go a bit faster, you'll see the difference straight away. Let's get into the singing. So you can hear it is faster and he has kept the same tone in his voice. Let's just go to this. So you can see it's now going to go faster. And he's still got the same tone in his voice, the same pitch. And again, just a bit more faster. Now if you go too much, then it won't sound too good. So just make sure you play around with it and don't go too much. Take it in little steps. Just, you can see, still got the same tone. Get in here. There you go, you can see this is probably the let's go the fastest we can go. You can see the tone of his voice is still coming out nice and clear. It's actually a really slow song, so yeah, let's put it up a bit. Now we'll go slower. So slower than original, let's see what this sounds like. Now you have to be careful when you're doing this one because you can see you hear the little, I guess, on the snares it drags. So again, be careful with this one. This is what I'm talking about right here. If you can hear when the drums are hitting, it has a little drag effect to it. So this is when you can start messing with all this stuff. So if you go through this stuff, it will actually help the instruments and you can uh, see which one's best for your song choice. Uh, probably music too for me. So now we're going back to the drop, which is right here, I believe. So you can see his tone of his voice is still the same again, and it's actually gone slower. So that is it, it's very simple. And once you're happy with everything, you want to render it out, come to file. Render as, you can save it as a WAV or an MP3, completely up to you, or unless of course you have a video already set up, and there you go, that's how you end it as audio, so you can come to WAV and just press default, call it whatever you want to, so uh, let's call this Coldplay, oops, let's call this Coldplay, quick rendering because of course it is audio, close, it's on my desktop, right here, and here we go, it's all sorted out, it's on my other monitor, so this is the fast one remember, I mean the slow one, here we go. And there you go. And that is how simple it is to slow down songs while keeping the same pitch in Sony Vegas. Like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects or in Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that means it, be sure to go follow me on Snapchat or just see what I do throughout my day. 
go ahead and follow me on Twitter. I'll keep you updated what I'll be posting and what I'll be posting. Also, be sure to go and check out my gaming channel. I'll post three to four times a week. And finally, be sure to go and check out my technology news channel. I'll keep you updated on the best technology news. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.